ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ന്യൂ ലെക്ചർ ഓൺ ഡിസൈൻ ഓഫ് ഹോം കിയർ ഇൻ അവർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി സി ദ ഡിസൈൻ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ഓഫ് ഹോം കിയർ ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി ദ ഡിസൈൻ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മേ ബി ആസ്ക് ലൈക്ക് ദർ വിൽ ബി ടു ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്രോബ്ലം സെൻ്റർ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് നോൺ പ്രോബ്ലം ആൻഡ് സെൻ്റർ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് അൺനോൺ പ്രോബ്ലം Today we are going to see the center distance non problem. The question may be asked like this. We will be have to design a worm gear by specifying or by giving the power, speed ratio, worm speed, center distance, pressure angle and the two design stresses of the material. So our given data may be like power P is equal to 3.75 kilowatt. and speed ratio 27 pressure angle alpha 14.5 degree center distance a 180 mm speed of worm n1 capital n1 is equal to 1200 rpm and it can be converted into rps by divided by 1000 small n1 is equal to 20 rps and the two distance stresses as 45 megapascal and 52 megapascal our first step in all our problems our first step we will like speed ratios so by equating the speed ratio we get the speed of worm gear as 0.741 rps and also the our next step was identifying the weaker part in the worm gear case always worm gear is the weaker part so design is based on worm gear our next step was finding the diameters the pitch diameter of worm and pitch diameter of worm gear it can be find from the k mahadevan balavirareddy data handbook page 223 as d1 is equal to a raised to 0.875 divided by 1.466 we get the value as 64.15 mm by standardizing it will be like 65 mm the pitch diameter of worm gear d2 is equal to 2m minus d1 295 mm our next step was to find the module so for finding the module we have to find other some values like ft is equal to sigma d into cv into b into y into m so for finding this m value module value we have to find ft sigma d cv b and y sigma d is given in the question we have to find ft cv b and y so for finding the cv we have to find velocity v pi d2 into by 60000 or pi d2 into small n2 that is 0.686 meter per second and cv will be like 6.1 by 6.1 plus v this v can be substituted as 0.686 so cv value will be 0.8989 phase width p is equal to a raised to 0.875 divided by 2 this equation is also in the data book so our next step was ft is equal to 2 into mte by d2 that is 2 into mt into kl by d2 kl is the load factor which is not given in the question so assume it as 1 so from this we get the mte value power p is equal to 2 pi into into mt that is zero point power 3.75 into 10 power 3 can be converted into watt and we get mt value as 805.44 newton meter so in ft we have to substitute this mt value and get the mt value as 5460.61 newton and by referring the page 244 table 12.28 for pressure angle 14.5 degree we get the lewis form factor as y is equal to 0.1 and for the gear ratio 27 which is greater than 20 we get the number of teeth on bomb as 1 by that we get the number of teeth on bomb gear as i dash into z1 27 into 1 27 so now we all have the values and can find the module as 7.44 standard value of module as 8 finding the lead angle gamma m into s1 by d1 7.02 degree dynamic load f is equal to sigma d2 b into y into m all values are known by us that is we get 6530.51 newton 
and we are students fw is equal to d2bk k value can be obtained from the data book page 246 table 12.30 by 4 al gamma is equal to 7.2 degree k as 0 0.549 so this trivial resistance value will always be greater than the dynamic load then only the material is safe Efficiency equation eta is equal to cos theta minus mu tan alpha by cos theta plus mu cot gamma. Tan theta can be found from tan alpha into cot gamma. So theta will be 14.38 degree. And for finding the mu value 0 0.025 plus 3.281 into Vr by 1000. We have the value velocity Vr by finding like by D1 N1 by 1000 into cos gamma. So from that. And substituting this mu vr and theta value we get efficiency as 0 0.7523 or 75.23 so next step was heat generated qg mu into fn into vr by cos gamma we can be fine from the data book page 227 and fn will be like ft by cos gamma into cos alpha so heat generated qg become 906 watt or 0 0.906 kilowatt and heat dissipated qd 1000 into kilowatt into 1 minus eta that is we get as 928.88 watt by comparing this qd and qg we can realize that heat dissipated is more than heat generated so we doesn't need any artificial cooling so this is the last step and the end of this warm gear type 1 problem that is we have to find certain step by all the values and have to find any artificial cooling required is not so i think all of you understand this lecture very well and we can see by next lecture on tomorrow itself thank you so much for watching